Welcome to the Fox Body Influencers Podcast. My name is Lance, your host, and I am excited to be here today. Today marks season, well, not season, I'm getting ahead of myself. Still in the first season, but episode two of the Father and Son Fox Body Conversations. And today we have joined with us Steve and Braden. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. How are you today? Doing fantastic. So, uh, Stephen reached out to me on Instagram. We've been uh, conversing now for a couple of weeks, and I found out that he's got a son, Braden. And Braden, how old are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. That is awesome, man. My son is eleven, almost twelve. So just behind you. Uh, you guys can't see Braden, obviously, because you're just listening to a podcast. But he has got a killer Carol Shelby hat on right now. So just want you guys to all to get that good uh, mental picture in your head. Uh, dad's not rocking the hat. They're just fresh in from the garage, I believe, straight working from the Fox. So they took a break to talk to you guys and talk to me, and I appreciate it. So uh, we're going to jump right into it. Where do you guys live? Are you in uh, the South or what state, what city? Where do you live? Uh, we live in, Na well, about an hour south of Nashville, a um, small town called Lafayette. And uh, uh, we've both been here about four years now. So it's really cool. Awesome. Braden, what do you like most about working with your dad on the Fox body? Uh, just making the memories is like really fun. And like, just to be honest, um, working on the car and, you know, having these memories, I can probably pass them down to my kids when I have them myself. Yeah, that's awesome. So how long have you been doing this kind of stuff? How long have you been working on cars? When did dad start you? Were you like in a diaper or what? You yeah, kind of around that. <laughs> like, well, I really was in like cars, like five or six, but like recently, um, the Fox body, we used to have a Jeep as well. The Jeep is oh, when I really Jeep, got started yeah. into like, um, like working in to, like interior stuff like that. And then eventually we had to sell that one, came out when we got the Fox body. And it's this one's definitely taught me a lot more. Especially when we had to help a friend um, with their core support. It was completely rolled under and got to learn a good bit from that, too. That's actually how we uh, got our Fox body. Was uh, My buddy had a, a 92 with a bent radiator core support that needed it rebuilt. Um, so we took the radiator core support out of that and rebuilt the front end of his Fox body um, and got the whole front end back together. And then the money he paid me for doing that is the money we invested in to the Fox body. Um, I actually got a really good deal on it. Um, it was my Matco tool driver um, that owned the Fox body prior to me and he bought it from somebody else. But um, I was so able what to. what is the car you're working on now? Tell us a little. We're about working it. on a night. It's a 1989 notchback. Um, it's Oxford white and uh kind of red pinstripe down the side of it yeah the red pinstripe and it was uh i always joke and call it the red interior is what it came with um yeah but uh yeah you either love or it, hate it, that it's red. yeah it's it's definitely not my it definitely popped that's for sure definitely not my favorite so it was a four-cylinder car um it will go back uh as a coyote swap i really thought about doing the seven three Godzilla swap, but just, just for doing it in my, in my garage with my son, there's not enough aftermarket support for it right now. So that's why yeah. we went and, and just decided to stick with the coyote. Cause there's a ton of, of aftermarket support to be able to do that. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've been watching one of the things that you guys are doing because you know, it's really neat that you guys are doing all the metal work. Did you learn that as, as a young person yourself, Stephen, or are you doing this by trade? Or how did you come to know about how to do metal work, fabrication, welding, and all that kind of stuff? Uh, I learned it in, in uh, shop class. Um, so oh, cool. I did auto body repair and iCar um, repair um, in shop. And a few of my buddies, we went all the way up to um, National. We had actually chopped and channeled. Um, a Toyota pickup truck and painted it. So that's, that's where it's really started for me. And I hadn't, I hadn't done it in, in lots of years. So now it's kind of going back and remembering, okay, what did, what did Mr. I teach us? Okay. Let's, let's cut the pinch welds. Let's do this. Let's pry here, whatever, you know? So it's, yeah. 
it's remembering it's a lot of memory um so um i don't do it by trade i am um a mechanic by trade um I actually now i'm just a general manager for um, an automotive repair shop in uh, hendersonville tennessee um, so it's always just been there but a mechanic by trade <clears throat> that's really cool so the thing i enjoy about the father-son stuff it's kind of what Braden was talking about earlier with my son is it really is the memories and you kind of set out on making some memories, right? But sometimes you're just like, you're just having fun. You're working on the Fox body or you're going to get one or you're doing some sort of project or you're hunting down a part, right? Something hard to find. And it's all those kind of things that really does, you know, makes for the fun. It's kind of that treasure hunt or the work part of doing it. So Braden, how about you? What is your favorite part about working on the car? Or the Fox bodies in general, do you like, doing cutting or welding or what's your favorite part interior work what's the most important and favorite part for you Tenic like right now i really like dig the interior kind of doing like kind of like kind of stuff because the majority of the interior that came out of that fox body was done by me and i quickly understood the interior in that fox body faster than anything i probably learned in math class <laughs> very cool yeah so do you like taking the interior parts apart and then kind of maybe fixing them and, and replacing them? Or is it you enjoy just the work as far as the interior pieces go on maybe seats? Or are you doing some of that kind of upholstery work? Give us some more details about some of the interior stuff that you like to do. Um, a lot of the stuff I like to do is like take it out, look at it and understand how it goes back together. And what you know when it goes back together, then pretty much everything is just kind of written some at that point. I think too, yeah. that's probably the first part that I actually let him just, just do it. You know, like I, I told him, yeah. Hey, here's the Torx bits. Here's the, here, here's the, the, the low end impact. And I'm going to be over here tearing apart the doors and stuff. So I think that's why he focuses on that because that was really the first spot that I just said, you know, take it out. Here's, here's the tools. If you have questions, I'm going to be over here, but I just let him do it. So he had to think it through. So I think that's why the interior stands out to him so well. Yeah. So would you recommend to other fathers maybe to let their sons kind of do the same thing? Did you find that good that can't really mess it up very much? Or even if so, you know, like maybe you could fix it easier than something else. Yeah. Cause it lets them think the the process through, you know, okay, I've got this and, you know, and I, I just would give them tips, you know? So if you, if you start wiggling it and you pull it and it doesn't come out real easy, probably stop. You probably missed a bolt somewhere. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's enjoyable to do it with them, but it's for me, it's really enjoyable to kind of see him learn and, and progress and, and be able to have critical thinking and, and how, how are we doing this? How are we ah, taking this apart? Stop. And so that's, that's what's been, you know, with the memories and everything. Well, that's definitely what we started it for, but just watching him grow over the last eight months in automotive altogether has been, been fun. Yeah, I bet, man. That is so cool to see the progression in anything, whether it's, you know, this or learning or sports or whatever it is that you enjoy watching your kids do. But it's kind of fun when it's the same passion that you have and they come alongside because they see, you know, dad's got this passion or let's say there's some mothers and daughters out there too. I know ladies, I know Latrice is probably out in California right now listening and going, Lance, I keep telling you mother <laughs> and daughter podcast series as well. Come on or mother and son. So don't hit me up too bad, but no, I think it's great that you mentioned that because I really enjoy the same process. It's seeing him want to do things that I'm not making him do my son. And one of his things he liked to do, Braden, also that Devin likes is the interior stuff. Um, and one of the things is because watching it on like Texas Metal and some of those other shows, you know, seeing those upholstery guys custom make the wood speaker boxes and the door panels and the center consoles. And he's like, oh, dad, that is so cool. I want to do that, you know. So that's kind of where he was. And then he and a friend helped with some of the interior takeout on one of our cars and then doing like all the you know, kill Matt sound deadening, rolling that all around. So that was really fun for him as well. So I think you guys probably have that in common. I mean, also the, I mean, also the interior is also like something that makes the car really pop. Because like, you'll have people with like, um, oh. like, um, you have some of the bigger ones, um, like Recaro. Recaro and people like that. And like that interior, especially when it's like custom made or something, 
that can really make uh, yeah. a car pop out to other people. It does. And it's one of the things that I think a Fox body interior, I mean, they weren't the, the highest quality of interiors when they were originally made. Right. I mean, it's yeah. they, they go together with some screws. The screws are exposed. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a car from mostly the eighties and the early nineties. Right. So they're not like, it's not like a Mercedes level quality, you know what I mean? Or it's not like a Cadillac, you know? So when you think of it, but what's neat about it is that there is so much customization to it. And that's where I think the interior comes in big time is you can change the seats. You can change door panel. Look, you can do different things to the dash or, you know, now you got people doing swaps of all kinds of stuff, which it's not really my taste when people do like the newer SN95 or the 197 dash swaps and all that stuff. But, I think some of them look cool. It's just, you know, everybody has their own taste and it's fun to do and in the work and enjoying the things that you want to make it your own. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah that's it's, fun. it's been fun. It's absolutely the, our project is super, super long. I mean, people can always look up on my, my Instagram. Um, but yeah, it's, it's still in a million pieces. So, but just listening to him talk about, you know, what he wants to do with the interior has been fun too. And, you know, like right now our, our biggest debate is painting it. I want to go back to um, the dark emerald green of the nineties. And he wants okay. to do the, the, the bullet green off of the SN or off the S five fifty. Um, so, and they're, they're very similar. I'm just like, I don't know that I want to go full forward. I was like, let's kind of keep, with the nostalgia, but you know, that's been our, well, our, maybe I can help him. Focus. Maybe I can, maybe I can help you guys compromise. <laughs> you should look up if you haven't seen it already, right. which you probably have is the Sage green from the SVO Fox body. All right. I'll check it out. I don't know that I've seen yeah. it. So it's a really <laughs> cool green, a very, very dark green. Go ahead, Braden. We've also, go ahead. We've also very like talked about like burgundy wine red. Yeah. So it's funny they use that up because the reason we talked about Burgundy Brian Red is Mustangs have kind of always run in my family. My mom, um, the reason we actually went with the notchback is I when I was 12, my dad wanted a Burgundy Wine notchback um, four-cylinder car. My mom talked him out of it, and they ended up with an 88 Ford Taurus because they had kids. And so I had told my dad that someday I would build his – his Fox body. Um, so our goal is actually to try to have it done in the next three years. Um, and then actually my parents live in Charlotte or Concord actually right around, um, where Foxtoberfest is. So my goal is to get the car done and kind of debut it at Foxtoberfest and be able to do burnouts with my dad on his 85th birthday. That's, so that's awesome. how that that came around. So the burgundy wine and the green is what we're tossing back and forth. But the burgundy wine that Ford did in the early 80s was my mom's favorite color on all of them. <laughs>